Arr! This is the blunderbuss kit from Traditions, which I bought from muzzleloaders.com. And I'm gonna show you what comes with it and how to put it together. Opening the box, we can see that everything comes wrapped in plastic. The barrel is 54 caliber. It looks kind of like a funnel and it comes unfinished. It is just raw steel. That is the trigger and hammer group. And next is the trigger guard, which is made of brass. And the next big thing is the stock, which is made out of wood. And the stock has the, tri the trigger group cut out and has a brass butt plate, which is already screwed on, but the stock is unfinished, so we'll have to get some stain and oil. We bought some stain at Home Depot, painted it on, and wiped it off almost immediately afterwards. It took about three or four coats, so it doesn't come out too dark if you let it sit with one coat, and this is how it came out. Very nice. This is what the barrel looks like after two applications of Perma Blue, and it's a little bit spotty, so I've applied a few more, and it looks like this after five applications. There's still a little bit of spottiness left in it after I brushed it with steel wool, but I like that because it makes it look a little more ancient and authentic. I like it, very nice. Now that we finished staining and bluing, we've itemized all the parts, put numbers in them to make sure that we know where each screw goes, and my son is going to assemble it. So first you're gonna take the front of your blunderbuss, never look down the barrel, and then you're gonna take this part right here and attach it here. Then you're gonna slide these two parts, the stock or the home tire or whatever it's called, along with this and connects right there. So we skipped a little bit, that's why there's no tape here and set up a couple things, but always remember, Keep this screwed in because it's a gun, obviously. And then next, you're gonna take your trigger, this thing right here. Not your trigger guard, remember, the trigger. And then you're gonna put it in right there. Like so. All right? Now you're gonna hold that in and take this screw, turn it around, and then put it in for that hole right there. We finished screwing that in, it took a little bit. Then you're gonna take this one right here, the one that looks like a two-sided like dice looking thing, and then you put it in right there. Screw it in right there, and check. A little tight. Can't screw it in more, so. Now, we're gonna take this screw, it's the really small, short, stubby one, and we're gonna put it in here. Thank you. You're good. All right, so now we're gonna take this. Looks like this, kind of obvious to see. And you're gonna have, if we put it in like this, you're gonna notice that it we can't really uh, fit it in because of this thing right here. So you have to do a half cock, not all the way, not all the way, but a half cock. One click, okay? Two clicks? No, 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 one click. And you're gonna put it in there, like that, so these screws, all right? Put the really like thick, fat washers and put them in. Then you're gonna put it in here and take a screwdriver, make sure it's one that works, and then you're gonna screw it in. Two together, like that, and it goes in here, right? Mm -hmm. The screw that we put in on the other side over here was a bit loose, so we had to put in some epoxy to hold it in. I'm pretty sure that was just the cover guard thingy. And you're gonna slide it in here and push, and then it should pop in after pushing a bit, and that that um it should be pushing really that way all right so now you're going to take these screws and take the screwdriver and uh, 
screw it in. Yep. Now the next one. All right, so now we're gonna function check it. All right, works well. So now you can go ahead and do what every man would do with a blunder bus. Thank you, listen down. If you like the video, please like and subscribe.